You know how the government types are always coming on television lately and saying, you know what, we're doing a lot of spending. But if you're in the middle class, you don't have to worry about it because we're going to stick it to the evil rich. There will be no tax increases on the middle class. Well, guess what? That's a lie. And we're going to prove it on today's video. Sadly, you will be paying more in taxes if you're in the middle class. Now, you stick around for the entire video, and I'm going to tell you exactly why the government has chosen not to raise these limits in 2021. And I think you're going to be very shocked at the fact that the government would do this to accounts that you're trying to save for retirement in. But it's a testament to where we are, so stick around for the entire video. Hey, MCE crew, I hope your day is progressing profitably. Today, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news with regard to the qualified accounts. So 401k, IRA, um, Roth IRA. But before we get into that, I want to first of all encourage you to share this content, like this video, subscribe. If you've done those things already, I deeply appreciate you because I think it's just fantastic that we can talk to people. The purpose of this channel, talk to people about financial independence, about figuring out how money works so you can get it working for you. And we can spread that message all over the globe. So that excites me. I appreciate you. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. And as always, you know, I'm going to uh, link to the article so that you can start your research on these issues. Now, uh, you probably have a qualified account. You might have a 401k with your job or an IRA that you set up on your own. But this article is coming out of Kiplinger's Bad News on IRA and 401k Contribution Limits for 2021. Bad News on IRA and 401k Contribution Limits for 2021. Retirement savers are going to be disappointed with the contribution limits for this year, 2021. But at least more people will qualify for recent tax breaks in 2021. So what we're faced with is the limits. They're not changing, okay, the contribution limits. And basically, they're going to be flatlined at where they were for 2021. The good news is the maximum income levels allowed to make deductible contributions to traditional IRAs contribute to Roth IRAs and claim the saver's credit all increase for 2021. So that basically means that those income limits that said, you know, you make too much money to save inside of a Roth, a traditional IRA, or use the saver's credit. You make too much money. Well, that limit is going up. So if you made too much money to contribute to these plans uh, in 2020, you might be in luck here in 2021. For 2021 employees who are saving for retirement through 401ks, 403bs, most 457 plans, and the federal government's thrift savings plan can contribute up to $19,500 to those plans during the year. That's the same contribution limit in place back in 2020. The catch-up contribution limit for employees age 50 and older who participates who participate in these plans also holds steady in 2021 at $6,500 for a total contribution limit of $26,000 for employees 50 and older. That's very important. Uh, if you are 50 or older, remember that 59 and a half age is the point at which you're going to be able to utilize uh, the funds within those accounts and not get penalized for them. So if you you know weren't able to save as much in 2020 due to maybe uh, you know job loss or maybe it was just that you were like, hey, look, I gotta keep my powder dry and you know keep some cash on hand because of the uncertainty of things. Well, if you're 50 or older, you can contribute up to twenty six thousand dollars to those accounts in 2021. So that might help you catch up. For anyone saving for retirement with a traditional or Roth IRA, the 2021 limit on annual contributions to their IRA account remains unchanged at $6,000. That's the same amount as it was for both 2019 and 2020. 
So that hasn't moved in two years. The additional IRA catch-up contribution for people 50 and over is not subject to an annual cost of living adjustment and stays at $1,000 also. For a total contribution of $7,000 for IRA savers age 50 and older. Okay, here's where we get into the heart of the matter. If you're contributing to a traditional IRA, the, the deduction allowed for your contribution is gradually phased out if your income is above a certain amount. For 2021, the phase out ranges are as follows. And I'm going to actually put this in the description of the video. So you'll have access to this there as well as in the link. So 66000 to 76000 for a single person covered by a workplace retirement plan. That's an increase from 65000 to 75000 in 2020. So I'm not going to go through all of these. Just suffice it to say that you, if you're a high income uh, earner, you may be included in this list. So you've got to take a look at the description, take a look at the article and figure out whether or not you're lucky enough to uh, be covered under this increase. Because if you are, it's something you may want to definitely take advantage of. Now, again, there are a lot of ways to save for retirement. And you have to remember, this is a reality that with regard to the traditional IRA and the 401k, they are qualified accounts, but they're tax deferred accounts, which means that when you want to exercise those funds and go ahead and start to use that money, then it's going to be subject to taxation. And you're also going to have what's called a required minimum distribution. That's an age that you're going to reach where the IRS is going to say, okay, you need to start taking some of this money. So let's just say you go out there and you're retired and you're working a job, so you don't need to tap into your 401k or your IRA. Well, there is going to come a point at which the government says, you know what, it's time for you to start taking these minimum distributions because we want to get paid. We want tax money. And that's how they'll get it, is by you putting that money into play from those tax deferred accounts. Recently, the required minimum distribution age uh, was revised to the age of 72. Uh, that's when you have to start taking that money out. Now, this article is going to go into some concepts uh, that you may want to sit down with your tax planner and talk about or your accountant, uh, because when you start talking about the amount of income you're making and uh, the amount that you can contribute being incumbent upon that, uh, that is something that you do not want to uh, mess up on. You don't, you, you got to be precise. And so you're going to need the help of your professionals, your team, your accountant, your CPA to help guide you based on your specific situation. But suffice it to say, the heart of the matter here is that while we will not see an increase in your ability to uh, contribute more money into these qualified accounts uh, for 2021, you will find that uh, you're able to contribute, period, at uh, income levels that are higher this year than they were last year. The last thing I want to say about this before I get to what I promise you, which is why the government did this, is there is more than one way to skin a cat on this. So you do want to take advantage of the upfront deductibility to lower your tax bill here in the uh, present. But keep in mind, we're two tri well, we're trillions and trillions of dollars in debt as a nation right now, and that money will be collected at some point. So uh, when you go to access money in the future from your tax deferred accounts, do you think the taxes at that time will be lower or higher? I personally believe they'll be higher, and so you'll be seeing more of your money come out and go to pay off the debts that we're incurring right now. So therefore, you have to have a way to have some money that is not subject to taxation then because you're paying taxes on it now. And that's where Roth IRA, a properly structured insurance policy, 
a permanent insurance policy, uh, a health savings account. That's where these types of vehicles come into play. So it all works together like a toolbox. You can't have a complete tool set if you don't have a few screwdrivers along with the wrenches and the hammer. So think about it like that. Think about it holistically. Now, as we close this out, you know why the government has done this, because they need the tax money. So they don't want you to be able to deduct as much from these, you know, at, by virtue of being a part of these plans as you would be able to if they raised those contribution limits. So that's why they're doing this. We're starting to see the federal government react in such a way that lets us know that they are serious about regaining this tax money and that, yes, indeed, the middle class, we are going to feel it. Remember, they always say on television that the middle class is not going to get hit with any new taxes. Well, the middle class is being hit right now because your taxes are effectively going up because you're not able to deduct more money in 2021 by virtue of a higher contribution limit in your qualified account. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Pass it along. Uh, do your due diligence. If you've got views on this, let us know in the comments. And I look forward to talking to you soon.